hi friends welcome to my another video today in this video I will discuss about the demand factor this is the part 11 video in series of designing of G plus 4 building as per the regulation so let's start this video so first we will understand what is demand factor what is demand factor it is the ratio of maximum coincident demand to the total connected load as it is mentioned here it demand factor is the ratio of maximum coincident demand of a system to the total connected load of the system what does it mean let me explain you suppose I have a home okay and the total connected load of my home is 400 watt 4000 watt okay now I will record at every hour what is my consumption at every in every one hour like 12 am 1 am 2 am 3 am so on till 12 am again so when I recorded I find that at 12 am my consumption is around 1200 watt in same way at 8 am my consumption is 2000 watt at 3 pm my consumption is 2500 watt at 6.15 my consumption is 3400 watt in same way at 11 pm my consumption is around 1800 watt so I recorded this one if you will analyze this point then you will come to know that at 16 6.15 the maximum load is running in my home okay maximum load that is 3400 watt my total connected load of the home is 4000 watt and the maximum running load in a particular day at 615 that is 3400 watt so what is demand factor as per the definition it is the ratio of maximum demand to the total connected load so what is um, what is maximum demand for my home for this day it is 3400 watt and what is my total connected load of this home it is 4000 so 4000 when I will divide this then I will come to know it is 0 0.85 so I can say that for my home which having a total connected load of 4000 watt the demand factor is 0 0.85 and the maximum demand for this day is 3400 watt so hope you understood that what is maximum demand what is total connected load and what is demand factor which we are discussing here so now consider there is a small security room okay and it has four bulb okay and each bulb have 20 watt load okay and at a time only three bulbs are working okay the security there is only turning on three lights so how many lights connected in this security room it is four bulb so the total connected load is 80 watt and maximum security guard is turning on three lights so the total so the maximum load running is 3 into 20 watt each light so 60 watt so maximum load maximum demand is 60 watt so what is the demand factor what is demand factor demand factor is equal to maximum demand by total connected load right so it is 60 watt divided by 80 so when we will divide it it will come as 0 0.75 I hope you with these two example you are very clear with the demand factor now let us analyze one db schedule in order to get the demand factor here there is one flat db final distribution board load schedule okay this flat have different type of load like light load shaver socket exhaust fan washing machine single socket water heater 20 ampere socket bell dishwasher cooker 15 ampere socket and window ac so there are different types of load when we tabulate this load schedule we come to know that this flat have a total connected load of 18 18600 watt that is 18.6 kilo watt okay when we will categorize this load then we, we we can categorize in four parts what is it what are these part let me tell you the first will be light load the another will be hvac load the third will be general purpose load and the fourth will be equipment load here i distributed all the loads and i sum it like light load here you can see there is a light load so if we will sum it this is light load okay here to here this is light load so I mention here let me delete so it will be clear here you see light load 
light load is 800 watt which is here then 300 watt which is here then 1000 watt which is here then 300 watt which is here then 200 watt which is here so this is the light load on this db so the total light load is 2300 watt in same way in same way i tabulate it for hvac load here you see there is hvac load window ac okay hvac load so what are the load there is two loads 2000 watt and 2500 watt which i mentioned here 2000 watt and 2500 watt so the total hvac load on this db is 4500 watt in same way i calculated for general purpose socket then i tabulated here and i come to know it is 4000 watt and for the equipment like washing machine dishwasher water heater and cooker so this is 1500 watt 1500 watt 1500 watt and 3000 watt what is the benefit of this i will tell you in upcoming time okay now i tabulated as we know that our total connected load is 18.6 kilowatt okay for this flat i tabulated what is the load running at a particular time at each hour okay i tabulated same like previous example then i came to know that at 5 30 the maximum load is running for this flat that is around 15.5 kilowatt right so what we can say our total connected load is 18.6 kilowatt and the maximum demand is 15.5 kilowatt from this graph right this is the maximum demand the peak point it is 15.5 kilowatt so what is the demand factor it is 0.83 now i have a final distribution board now this you can see this is the uh, sorry uh, su sub main distribution board load schedule okay and this is that db which i discuss now so what is the total connected load of that db is 18.6 kilowatt and what is the demand factor demand load that is 15.5 kilowatt here it's mentioned 15.45 okay it's almost same so here i tabulated for this db 18.6 is the total connected load and 15.45 is a maximum load maximum demand okay in same way for other db we will find the total connected load and the maximum load maximum demand if we will sum this we will get the maximum demand load on smdb first floor right so we did the same here you see the maximum demand the maximum demand on this smdb is 15 159.69 kilowatt okay when we will sum all this and what is the total connected load total connected load will be the sum of this so it is 188.6 kilowatt so what we did so far for a db for a final distribution board we tabulated the load schedule and we find the total connected load and with this graph we calculated the maximum demand in same process we will repeat for other final distribution board and we will tabulate this information in the sub main distribution board load schedule okay so for like db1 i tabulated total connected load is 18.6 kilowatt and the maximum demand is 15.45 for other db i did the same procedure and i wrote the total connected load and the maximum demand if we will sum up the total connected load then we will get the total connected load on smdb 1f and when will we, when we will sum up the maximum demand then we will get the maximum demand load on the smdb 1f okay now this is the load schedule for main distribution board whatever procedure we followed before we will do it for other smdbs also other smdbs also here you see here i mentioned the total connected load for smdb 1f is 188.60 which i mentioned here and the maximum demand which is 159.69 which i mentioned here same procedure i will follow for other smdbs other smdbs and i will write here so when we will sum up the total connected load then we will get the total connected load on mdb which is mentioned here that is 1175 kilowatt and when we will sum up the maximum demand load on then we will get the maximum demand load on mdb which is 1031.5 kilowatt so in this way we will find the maximum demand on our main panel what we have to do we have to start from the final distribution board for each final distribution board then we have to tabulate in the smdbs load schedule and for we will follow it for all smdbs then we have to tabulate the same information in the mdbs in order to get the final maximum demand load for a particular main panel hope you are clear now so we came to know for this uh, project the maximum demand is 1031.5 0 kilowatt and the total connected load is 11,000 
eleven hundred and seventy five kilowatt. Now, but here there is a question arises that at the beginning stage, at the project design stage, we cannot run the load, right? We cannot run the load. The flat is not yet built, and we have to decide the maximum load. I think you got the question. At the beginning stage, we didn't build any home. We didn't build any flat. So. the flat is not energized so we cannot get this point by running the load because there is no load at all it is it, the project is in the design state so then how we will get to know that this flat will have 15.5 kilowatt maximum demand this is the question this i will answer in next session of the maximum demand uh, which is covering in the series of g plus 4 designing so stay tuned and watch my video we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye